Welcome back friends, thanks for being here. Steve, KM9G, with an unboxing video. MFJ, Woo. MFJ 267, dry dummy load and a watt meter. Wanted to show you guys what was in the box. I'll link below in the description for all the, uh, the facts and details about this. But this video is more about what you get in the box. Stick around. M. F. J. Let's get this thing open. Oh, this box is big. All right, so bubble wrap. That's just stuffing. Get that out of the way. The thing. Some other stuff in the box. What do we got? Your manual is now online. Okay, so the most important thing the manual, not there, but the catalog. We got the catalog. All right, that's gone. Let's take a look and see what this thing is. It's wrapped up pretty nice. Sweet, sweet. We've got the dummy load. We've got the power cable that fell out. Let's get that out of the bag. All right, what do we got? Nice case. Metal, ventilated to get some heat out. That's probably important. I mean, I know it's important, but now you do too. Okay. Cross needle display on the front. High, low, peak average, on, off. That on, off is for the light. And that power is for the light. And you have a dummy load antenna switch and an input, and an antenna. All right, let's see what's inside. One thing MFJ is good at is putting lots of screws in things. All right, that screw's a little different. The one that goes up by the display. Lid lifts off. Get that out of the way. There is your big dummy load. It is grounded to the chassis. And there's a little screw there that you can use. <laughs> One of the screws on the SO239 connector is grounded out to the power connector. And then your antenna input, input from the radio goes into this circuit board here. You've got a couple of resistors. That's upside down, what does that say? Oh, made by Ameritron, nice. And then that connects up to your switch. So one leg of the switch goes to the center conductor of the antenna, and one leg goes to the center conductor of the other the transmitter, and then the last leg goes to the dummy load itself. And then you've got this nice little board up here, which has all of your switches on it for all of your things. And then this is MFJ's cross needle display that you see everywhere. Pretty good. No, nope. this was uh, inspected by AG on 620. So is that 62020 or is that 620-1970? Not bad. So that's what comes in the box. Just the dummy load. No extra connecting cables except for the power lead and that power lead is for the display light. And that's what it is. So coming up in a future video, we will put this thing in line with the new toy that I'm getting to go along with it. 
And if you can figure out what that new toy is by uh, looking at this video, leave a comment below. It should be fairly obvious. And I'll go ahead and get this thing put back together and get in line for the next video. Thanks for being awesome.